Salve galera do Radar, hoje eu vim conversar com o vocalista da banda Bamboo Station, Jalen Horton. Os caras vieram diretamente lá das Ilhas Virgens aqui para Porto Alegre para tocar no Bar Opinião junto com os cariocas do Ponto de Equilíbrio. E eu vou bater um papo com o cara. Hello, Jalen, how are you? Good times, I'm well. Jalen, the Virgin Islands became one of the most important reggae centers of the world. How did it happen and why? Uh, how did it happen? Well, um, technology had a, a bit to do with it. Uh, uh, with the technology of today, um, singers and artists uh, with small budgets could record their music. And with the internet, we could share it with the world, you know? So um, that's part of the reason why um, And I think also the sound of the music is a bit more raw and organic than people today are used to. And so it, it, it catches their attention. You are releasing a new album. Yesterday, we released a new album on iTunes. Uh, it's called Children of Exodus. And we took the title from Bob Marley's album called Exodus. And uh, we believe that we are the generation that benefited most from that album. And so we call ourselves the children of that album. And so we speak to the issues of our day. We speak to the issues that affect us now, not to the issues that affected Bob Marley's generation. Uh, even though there's some um, relativity there, we speak to the issues of our day. On our album, we have Junior Marvin from The Whalers. He's playing guitar on some of the tracks. Uh, we also have uh, a leader of the African Hebrew Israelites. Uh, his name is Ben Ami. It's the same as having Martin Luther King or Malcolm X on your album. We thought, wouldn't it be a good idea to invite a leader in our community to say something to the people, you know? Um, and so we extended an invitation to Ben Ami and he accepted it, you know? So um, that's the title track on the album, so it's not That, that song is not really a commercial song, but it's really something to kind of help the discussion in our community that has been devastated with poverty and sickness and low self-esteem and poor health. So the new album, we look uh, to come back to Brazil. You know, we have three more shows in Brazil and uh, we look to come back Uh, maybe later in the year or next year and um, do the whole album, you know, because it's a lot of great songs and uh, the songs that we do play, a lot of people love them and they don't even know them. In 2004, you created Bamboo Station Foundation. Yes. I want to ask you, what is this organization and how does it work? Okay, um, in the most simple way, the Bamboo Station Foundation uh, is an organization that allows us to use the music to raise money for any cause that we want to support. Brother Kojo Johnson and other members of the band over the years Uh, and myself have gone into schools, have gone into uh, drug rehab clinics, uh, residential treatment facilities, and we might have an acoustic guitar. Uh, we may do a show to raise money uh, for a uh, organization in Mozambique. Um, so it's the Bamboo Station Foundation is, is simply there as a vehicle to raise money or raise awareness 
around issues. Um, I like to say that we are more based in our communities and communities of the world than we are musicians. We play music, but before we play music, this is what we do for a living. Our drummer, Swam Guinea, he teaches children in, in the United States. You know, uh, he teaches them percussion and, and music and, and cultural awareness. Um, I myself have been a family mediator and also uh, currently um, I teach on the high school level, you know, uh, history, social studies, things like that. So we do those things and we use the music to get a chance to do those things. So we hope to even be able to go into the favelas in Brazil and, um, and play for the people. You know, and it's not about money. It's about raising awareness. It's about opening minds to new ideas, you know. And the more we realize that we are the same, maybe there'll be less wars. Maybe our leaders will have less opportunity to create wars. Rendeu o papo com o vocalista da Bamboo Station, o Jelani Horton. Agora a gente curte um trecho do show aqui em Porto Alegre e logo mais tu confere a segunda parte dessa matéria.
What are we fighting? 